Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jamie Iris and this is Jamie Iris Talk TV wherein we will be updating you with the recent and latest information about foreigners who are allowed to enter the Philippines. This video will be in English so any fellow man who wants to know more about this news which is in Tagalog or in the Tagalog language, you can watch the last update that I had given regarding the IATF protocol. For this video, we would like to inform other foreign nationals who are interested to visit the Philippines or go back to the Philippines once again after a very long time that foreign tourists are not allowed in our country. So let us just take a look and see what are the recent updates. But before that, I just simply want to say if this is your first time to visit my channel, welcome and i'm inviting you to please subscribe to my channel so that you'll get updated not only with travel updates about the philippines but also other information that you will find interesting and inspiring and on top of that i also provide tutorials that will be helpful also if you'll be traveling back to our country and also i would like to welcome all of our subscribers who are consistently watching our channel so welcome and mabuhay so with that, everyone, let us just take a look. If you are a foreign national and you're interested to visit the Philippines once again, let us get to know what's the latest update and will you be able to visit the Philippines anytime soon? That's something that we will find out. According to the recent IATF Resolution Number 157, now this is from January 16 to 31, 2022. Now, there being no objection from the Department of Health and the BOQ, the following shall be implemented for the aviation sector. So according to our Department of Transportation, they shall be monitoring and evaluating the implementation of the aviation industry and copy furnished reports to the DOE. H Epidemiology Bureau for assessment of COVID-19 cases, cluster, vaccination status, and the like. And IATF retains the authority to revoke or modify the privilege provided to the aviation industry for shortened quarantine and isolation. Now, on top of that, from the IATF resolution number 157, it was also mentioned that the Department of Transportation and its attached agency shall identify the appropriate accountable group to make decisions for shortening isolation or quarantine based on evidence similar to hospital infection prevention and control wherein infectious disease specialist safety of officers and management deliberate monitor and act on all infection related concerns of the health facility all aircraft shall ensure appropriate ventilation and all aviation staff should wear appropriate personal protective equipment at all times. Now, this were gathered from the Office of the Presidential Spokesperson's page or FB page. Now, what does this mean? Since a lot of you are traveling back to the Philippines, it could also be fellow Filipinos, other travelers, such as foreigners who are allowed to enter in the Philippines, then therefore it's very important that you're aware what's happening also to the aviation uh, sector because left and right, there are cancellations from uh, different airline companies. So what did the IATF implemented uh, for DOTR to put in place for for the aviation sector so that at least you know we'll have better chances for our passengers to be able to fly back to the philippines through these airline carriers that we have here in our country and let us just take a look at the isolation and quarantine protocols for aviation sector including but not limited to airline personnel ground handlers maintenance providers airport security, air traffic controllers, airport workers, and the aviation-related personnel. Isolation for up to five days for mild and asymptomatic confirmed 19 cases who are fully vaccinated and boosted. Now, how about quarantine of up to zero day for a asymptomatic close contact of confirmed COVID-19 cases who have received primary series of vaccine doses and booster. Now, asymptomatic close contact who recovered from COVID-19 within the last 90 
days. So the obvious are the updates that we have so far. So in our in the Philippines, for our foreign nationals who are currently listening right now, uh, for the past a week, what they did was to shorten the quarantine period and isolation period of some of the health workers who are already fully vaccinated and had booster. So that at least, you know, we also have some people who can help out in the hospitals or in, in any medical uh, institution that needs assistance. Now, uh, they are thinking also of doing the same thing with the aviation sector simply because, again, left and right cancellations of flights domestic and international had been happening for the past few weeks. So uh, this is an idea that IATF had ensure the Department of Transportation through the aviation uh, sec sector uh, that will be implemented. So through the Department of Transportation for the aviation sector, they ensured that this will also be implemented so that at least people who had already uh, two doses of vaccination or again boosters can actually go back to work earlier with a shortened isolation and quarantine period. So that's quite good news also for the travelers because a lot of you have been mentioning and messaging me, Miss Jamie, uh, cancellations every now and then. How many times? Two times, three times, four times. And you're sick and tired and fed up with it already. So what can be done? So this is what they are doing right now. So let's see who ping. When it comes to the number of flights that we will have, it will also be dependent with the uh, reduced capacity that we have now in our airport so at this point in time uh for manila so instead of four thousand, which we had last december uh this first week of january so uh, no around january 12th if i'm not mistaken it they were actually they actually implemented the 3,000 uh, capacity for uh, the NAIA terminal. So it means that from 4,000 to 3,000, only 3,000 passengers will be allowed to arrive in Manila. And it means that less flights and there is a big possibility too uh, that maybe some flights will either be rerouted to other airports in the Philippines. That's what happened to my flight, everyone. So my flight uh, during that time, they said, Jamie, it's either your fl uh, your plane will be rerouted or you will travel back to the Philippines like maybe half month from now or uh, like close to 30 days. So I thought that, okay, I'm going with being rerouted because I'd rather go back to the Philippines during that date that I was really supposed to go home. And I just have to take a uh, longer transportation transportation uh, land transportation back going back to my hometown so but that's fine as long as i reach uh, the philippines well i'm glad i made uh, that decision anyway everyone so uh for the question uh who are allowed to travel in the philippines will foreign tourists be allowed already so that's something that we will take a look at at this point in time, from January 16 to 31, 2022, foreigners who are allowed to enter the Philippines are those with existing and long-term visa. At this point in time, foreign nationals who are tourists are still not allowed to enter the Philippines because of the travel restrictions that were that are in place. So again, looking forward that this will be updated. But then again, there's another recent news, everyone. So Philippines to allow fully vaxxed or fully vaccinated foreigners to enter the Philippines starting uh, February 16, 2022. What does this mean? This means that only those that are allowed uh, by the Philippines without any travel restrictions, foreigners who are fully vaccinated will be allowed to uh, will be allowed entry here in the Philippines. So what does this mean? The Philippines, uh, what does this mean? Does it mean that the Philippines had lifted its restrictions for foreign nationals? So let us just take a look. Foreign nationals 
allowed to enter into the country shall be subject to the following additional protocols beginning February 16, 2022. Proof of full vaccination shall be made, a requirement for entry of all foreign nationals allowed to enter the Philippines. Now, the Department of Transportation through the Civil Aeronautics Board is hereby instructed to mandate the Philippines or mandate of the airlines to require foreign nationals traveling to the Philippines to present proof of full vaccination prior to boarding flights to any point in the Philippines. It is also said that foreign nationals allowed to enter into the country shall be subject to the following additional protocols beginning February 16, 2022, Proof of full vaccination shall be made a requirement for entry of all foreign nationals allowed to the Philippines. Exceptions to the requirement that all passengers to be fully vaccinated and to pro provide proof of vaccination status prior to boarding an airplane or a vessel to the Philippines are absolutely limited to the following group. So uh, all foreigners are definitely children below 18 years of age, People medically unable to receive the vaccine as certified by a competent public authority in the country or port of origin and foreign diplomats and their qualified dependents or 9E visa holders. So everyone, so what does this mean? It means that foreign nationals who can actually enter the Philippines, whatever uh, transportation it may be, it might be through an airplane or uh, through a cruise or through a uh, seaport, it means that they must be allowed. They are the ones who are allowed. So at this point in time, as per Bureau of Immigration, the foreign nationals who are allowed to enter the Philippines are only those with long-term visa and existing visas. So it means that foreign nationals at this point in time had not been allowed to enter the Philippines yet. Okay, so the temporary travel ban is not yet lifted or the restrictions are not yet lifted. So the temporary restrictions are not yet lifted for foreign national tourists. So, but then again, for anyone who is and who has existing visas, long-term visas, then you definitely can come back to the Philippines or travel to the Philippines. Or if you're a spouse of a Filipino, if you're a foreign spouse of a Filipino, then therefore you can enter the Philippines. So foreign tourists, I know you have been messaging me and you've uh, really expressed how much you want uh, to go back to the Philippines. And I am uh, definitely uh, looking forward. I also have the same. Uh, I also want the same. I also would want our foreign tourists to visit the Philippines. Uh, but then again, at this point in time, the travel restrictions are still in place. So let's see um, by February if this will change. Although this one, regardless of what protocols that they will be releasing, this is already, uh, they made it final that by February 16th, uh, all foreigners who will be allowed by that time, you know, to enter the Philippines, then uh, they will have to be fully vaccinated. So, for example, at this point in time, no foreign tourists are still allowed. All right. Uh, so at this point in time, no foreign tourists are allowed from January 16 to January 31, 2022. Now, if it's still the same by February 16 to uh, 28, then they're, okay, anyone who's allowed to enter the Philippines, therefore, needs to be fully vaccinated. Now, this is just an example. This is not yet something that is actual. If, for example, they will be allowing foreign tourists any time in the coming months, it could be February 16 or onwards or even on the next month. If ever they do or if ever we do in our country, then therefore uh, being fully vaccinated is already a requirement upon entry. Aside from the fact that you might need a visa uh, for this entry to the Philippines. Our foreign tourist subscribers and of course other nationalities who are watching us and for fellow Filipinos who have, you know, fiancé, husband or family members who are a foreign national, uh, let me keep you updated that once we get the latest uh, protocol from the IATF, I'll definitely let you know if the foreign tourists will be allowed in the Philippines and the travel restrictions have been lifted. But for the meantime, this is actually what we have from IATF. Bureau of Quarantine. Mm.
to all foreign nationals who have plans to fly back to the Philippines or visit the country. Now, uh, for your information, I want to share to you uh, that there's three departments, uh, Bureau of Quarantine or BOQ, the uh, Department of Transportation, One Stop Shop, and Bureau of Immigration are directed to recognize only the proofs of vaccination approved by the IA. TF. So again, I do have another feature for that on what will be approved for foreign nationals. So uh, please, you can watch that video as well. Are directed to recognize only the proofs of vaccination approved by the IATF. So what does this mean? So what it actually means, everyone, is uh, the type of vaccination card that you will have to present is number one. If you have the ICV, uh, card, then you can definitely present that or what we call the ICV with prophylaxis. So you could actually present that as the yellow card. And at the same time, you may also present if you are a foreigner who got vaccinated here in the Philippines. If you are got vaccinated here, then you can avail of the Vaxert PH. If you got vaccinated in your home country, and you have a national certificate, uh, the Philippines will only accept that if you your country has reciprocal agreement with the Philippines. So what does that mean? It means uh, that your country must have accepted our national certificate. And in return, the Philippines will also accept your country's national certificate. So we don't have all countries yet who approve VaxCert PH, our national certificate for vaccination. So therefore, only we have several countries who did and we do have the reciprocal agreement. So if you get vaccinated in that country or in your country that has reciprocal agreement with the Philippines, automatically your national certificate will be accepted here also in the Philippines. So, Jamie, just in case we don't have a reciprocal agreement, I also don't have that WHO card, yellow card that you did mention. So, will I not be allowed to enter the Philippines? Uh, yes, at this point in time, because aside from the travel restrictions, it's a mandatory requirement that you should be presenting a vaccination certificate uh, that is valid and approved by the IATF. So with that, everyone, that is our news updates for today regarding the Philippines. So hoping that you have more idea on what is currently happening in our country. So stay tuned as you await until the Philippines lift the travel restrictions for foreign tourists and for foreigners who are allowed to enter the Philippines. Have a safe flight here in the country and stay safe and healthy. God bless you all.